Glycemic index is a nutritional concept that was initially proposed in uh, 1980. And basically, it recognizes the fact that all carbohydrates do not have the same impact on the body. Some carbohydrates digest slowly, even carbohydrates with lots of sugar, like fruit. Whereas others, especially the processed carbohydrates, these digest into sugar in the body literally in minutes. So blood sugar surges and then crashes. Uh, that process leads to too much insulin production. And then a short while later, the production of stress hormones in the body. This swing between too much and too little sh sugar takes a toll on the body and tends to drive food intake. But the glycemic index doesn't take into account how people actually eat foods in a real life setting. You know, we don't all eat the same controlled portions of food as in a research study. The glycemic load takes that concept into consideration. So foods like a potato, which have a high glycemic index and a lot of carbohydrate, are going to greatly impact blood sugar and have a high glycemic load. Whereas other foods like watermelon may have a high glycemic index, but they don't typically have a lot of carbohydrate as typically consumed. And so it has a lower glycemic load. The bottom line is to understand how a food will impact your blood sugar in a real life setting, the glycemic load will be your best guide.